Hello everybody and welcome to Video Games Awesome Live. This is Mass Effect 2 Continues. I think this is about episode 7 and probably about the 14th episode of Mass Effect in total. We're doing the loyalty mission. So far we have done Kasumi's loyalty mission, Morden's loyalty mission, and Jack's, Jack's loyalty mission. We went and erased her past completely, the last remaining survivor from uh, the yeah, test facility. Did. Um, Morden, we went back and learned a little bit about the genophage and, uh, and his, his kind buddy, of re or his wrapped up, yeah, wrapped pupil. that up in a neat little package by shooting him in the head. And -boom. for Kasumi's, we retained the uh, gray box from her lost lover and uh, hmm. destroyed some precious works of art in the process. Yeah. So so far, these loyalty missions pretty badass. Yeah, I've yeah, been they're good. Them. Yeah, yeah. And today, what we're gonna do is uh, the, the people that we're gonna do uh, is Samara. We're gonna do Samara. Well, we'd like to, but I don't think that's possible from what we've read. Uh, but we're gonna go do mm -hmm. Samara's uh, loyalty mission to kick things off, and then we're gonna follow it up with Grunts back on the same planet Ooh. that we did Mordens on, and uh, then I'm thinking possibly Zaid, possibly Jacob, possibly both. So, let's, uh, oops, this is, wait a second, load. Are you guys pumped? I wonder what Jacob's loyalty mission is. Uh, there we go. I Jacob's, feel like his could be lame. It's something about his father, from what I remember. Hmm. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, so, this should be turbo only soon. We'll say goodbye to you shadows. We love you. Play basketball. That's his mission. <laughs> That'd be sweet, actually. Space basketball. Oh, man, I want to play real basketball. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> I love shooting hoops. Mm. Playing horse. Yeah. Sorry Sorry. for the long load stream. Jeez. Yeah. All right, oh, here we go. Grunt seems out. agitated, Kevin. Oh, hey, Kelly. Yeah. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. How's the crew? The Is there anything I should know? Garrus received some news that put fire in his eyes. Maybe you should speak with him down in the main battery. Tally seems very distraught after receiving a message. So these are all the. Maybe you could check in on her down in engineering. The loyalty Fane missions that we can do. Like see you down in life support on the crew deck. Samara would like to see. Yeah, we've got them all. On the crew deck. Despite what you guys have been going crazy about, hold. you, you don't to have to go on. talk to them in order to get their loyalty missions. So you don't, don't have to worry. If Kelly talks about them saying yeah. that they want to talk You're to us, to they're to ready to... She seems very worried about something. Yes, we know Kelly. Oh, Kelly. Don't we need to talk to someone first? Uh, oh yeah, we ha we should talk to Samara about it, right? Yeah, because it's Before not, we actually it's not, do her we mission. We don't actually have it yet, right? Yeah. Alright, let's head down and talk to Samara about what's been bugging her, what would make her more loyal to us, you know, given the chance that we might someday end up going up against some Reapers or Collectors or some epic battle that we might need them to be Could extremely happen. loyal for. I doubt it will, but... These loyalty missions supposedly all accumulate to make the ending of this game. Hmm. The more loyal your crew is, it results in the, a better ending, like how things go in the final, the final stuff. So if you don't do the loyalty missions, everybody's like... <laughs> It is, <laughs> run away. it is possible for everyone to die. Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! It is possible Whoa. to end the game. With end everyone the game, dead. It, end the game in such a way that you cannot play Mass Effect 3. Oh, yeah. Oh! Yeah. That's the... You can, you can do it so poorly that you would have to wow. start a new save with Mass Effect 3 or go back and fix it. Wow. wow that's nuts. Yeah. So it's some serious shit. So here's Samara meditating, our just a car. Mm. Oh. Hi, Ro. I'm Ooh, glad look at those eyes. Team. Hello. It has been too long since I traveled with companions. Oof. When the time comes, I will do whatever is necessary. I appreciate that. You're an important part of this crew, Samara. It is my honor. Also, there is a matter I need to discuss. What that? When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Mm -hmm. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before Lopez. she disappears again. So, Samara's a Justicar. She has been, like, traipsing the galaxy trying to find this uh, person she's hunting. That's what Justicars do. 
Um, and she needs to kind of wrap that up before she's going to be completely loyal to us. Why is this so important? How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. Wow. It is the most important thing And they only live like a thousand years. And the reason I became a Justicar. Uh, investigate. Who is she? I need to finish these. They're very hard she? to find. Omega. A nightclub called... She's on Afterlife, Omega, which is like the Tatooine of the Mass Effect hunt. universe. You can go in there a lot. Yeah, yeah. We, we have. We met... Z we, we, we saved Garrus from being pinned down there. We met Zaid there. Mm -hmm. Um, that's about all we've done, but what oh, we did the uh, uh, trail after our mission. Quarantine thing. I know quarantine where she thing, yeah. is right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. So she's got some intel on Morinth being. Tell me about her. Who is she? She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds. Sounds that hot. Mythology. Yeah. She is simply a very dangerous woman. Dark, who dark, kills dark, 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 mercy. Oh, sorry. I was just gonna fix mm. baby Hank. There we go. It's not a desert plain, but it's a bad place where all the bad people go. Yeah. That's how is it not like? Isley. It has a like. It's got a giant nightclub where everybody gets drunk and fights. It's totally Moss Eisley. Greater hive of scum and villainy you'll never have found in Mass Effect. <laughs> so, case in point. You're dangerous too. As are you. But she is different. Oh. Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she meets with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. Blah? She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages oh your God. brain. Oh my God! Wait, what? You end up a mindless when, shell. When she meets and with soon you. After. You know when you Liara done. does oh, the mind yeah, yeah, melt. Yeah. When, when this girl, this girl does it, for? she just scrambles your brain. Sounds pretty hot. I bet it's really awesome. <laughs> I bet you it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. um, let's see here. <clears throat> Killing because of genes? So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. That's too extreme. I don't agree with that statement, but... They have to choose between prison and death. It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. Uh, what's with the compulsion? Why do they always Can't want to do abstain? it? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. Man, she will never awesome. stop. She can't. This girl knows how to party. <laughs> Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardot Yakshi. Some cultures worship them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Oh. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. Why do you care so much? She ran. And I am sworn to kill her. Genius Shepherd. <laughs> hmm. uh, yeah. Is it wrong to want freedom? I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic Man, one. Man, she just wants to have awesome sex, Jays. Yeah. I can see why she's dangerous. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. Hmm. Let's go get her. I at least want to have one night with her. Just one. It can't <laughs> hurt. That much. We need to stop her. Thank Just you, Just a little Commander. brain scrambling. I don't think you've listened to me, Shepard. It's the one time that scrambles your brain. Come on. One time. A just society would give her all of their murderers. What? What? She's her daughter. What? Holy Whoa. shit, she's hunting her own daughter. Whoa. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three are not young oh. children in existence today. Is, dude. Is she? Is let's sad. do it. Let's try this You've got to stop fucking. She's the wild one. She was happy and free. So Sara has fish. had three kids, and all three have been Ardot Ritayashi. And that's probably why she is, like, the least likely to have sex jays in this game <laughs> with yeah. you. Yeah. You should be, you should be able to do it if you're a girl with her. 
Nah, I think they scramble any no brain. Oh yeah, that's true. They can. Yeah. And what? And they can scramble any brain, if you're a girl or not. Shit, Samara can't. You have something on your eye. Oh, that's the thing. Samara is not an art Yashi. She has yeah. them, but she is not one. Yeah. Um, okay. You should have told me. I needed to know this a long time ago. I gotta like, take care of my baby. You should have told me. Besides my own children. <laughs> and this is not easy to speak of. Even 400 years after I learned it. My daughter's condition is my fault. And my redemption lies in killing her. So... Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. Tell me more. How did all this happen? I spent oh. my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, made it with them, or just danced Wait, the night away. Wait, in what order? I learned so much, <laughs> yeah. experienced so yeah. much. And then my matron I wasn't quite came. clear on that point. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. Cry me a river. We've all suffered, Samara. I'm not asking for your pity. I am trying to explain why this is so important to me. Now, Shall please I continue. Stop? Keep going. I'm listening. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing. Claim nothing. So she became a Justicar just because she spawned an Ardot Yashi. Yeah. Is to destroy Three. My Three. Children. Three of them. I guess. <laughs> the third one was the one that broke the camel's back. Yeah. She was like, I can handle this one. That's all right. What, what are the odds? Two of you what say. What are the odds? Unprecedented odds in the history of the millenniums that we have lived as species. Well, all right. One more time. <laughs> and the third one ran. All right. Dwelling on it won't help. You either get stuck in your past or forget it and move on. Shepard tells it like it is. I am not stuck in my past. I am out to rectify it. Help me find my long lost daughter and kill her. We'll get her. We'll go find Morinth. Or get fucked trying. Now, can you kill her then have sex with her? <laughs> Let's see. And does that scramble your brain? <laughs> I, um, yeah. I think because it's a mind melt, they need to be conscious yeah. for the full effect of an Asari sex jay. What if she was on some sort of narcotic that. She was still alive. Ben, your dedication to this scenario is commendable. <laughs> Even inspiring, uh, but yeah, well. we we're not gonna corpse fuck on this show. There's one place where I, I draw if she's the line. Because her mom's pretty hot. <laughs> well, yeah, one she would expect she's gonna be irresistible because she's an Atari. Yeah. All right, here we go. Fane would like to speak with what? The oh. Here we go. Let's head over to Omega, the wretched hive of scum and villainy. <laughs> Omega. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, boop, boop. You know, like that, that was a really extended dialogue scene. Yes. Yeah. You know, it was pretty long, and yet I was interested the entire time, which is something that I can't really say for the yeah. extended dialogue in The Witcher. Yeah. I just feel like The Witcher takes a long time to get to the point. Yeah, I think Mass Effect. Um, does that a lot better than most games. Yeah. Uh, well, they, they tell compelling stories. Yeah. There's a rule we, in writing, and that's that every piece of dialogue needs to move the plot forward in some way. And it just feels as though in The Witcher Rodriguez? sometimes... Is that from Rodriguez? I don't know. It might be. <laughs> it's a pretty old adage in film. Yeah. And it just feels as though in The Witcher you're just reading point notes about the world, like an encyclopedia, as you listen to people's dialogue. I don't want to, like, you know, crap on Witcher, because I like The Witcher, but I just, in terms of, like, listening to the full dialogue of everybody, I feel like I'm just way more predisposed to do it in The thing is, too, with these guys, like, we have some history with her, and we know that this is we're going to have yeah. future with her. Yeah, but the same is true right. with, with some of the characters in The Witcher, and you just don't care. You're just like... I think it's because they make the assumption that you've read the books. Yeah. Whereas Mass Effect does not have that luxury. We haven't had as much of a setup. So as we uh, uh, get these loyalty missions, you're gonna get we get alternate looks. Ooh, that's pretty yeah, that subtle on Morton, but Jack, Jack uh, what? puts on Colored clothes. Up more. Yeah, that's uh, ooh, ooh that's red and black. Cool. Yes, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, red and black. Um, no, red and black. Well, who, do, should we, who should we bring along, guys? Who do you want to bring? Yeah, yeah, there you go. I'm thinking Garrus. We got Garrus here. So he might have something to say about the blaze. He might. And we obviously have to bring Samara. Yeah. I'm surprised it's not forcing us to. I wonder what her alternate is going to be. Yeah. Jack and Tally. No, we have to bring Samara, guys. You crazy. That's a large tattoo, not a shirt snarf. Where it? She looks gets a like new a tattoo shirt. all over. Wow. Two, two clothing like. Does I'm it take, take these the two. belts off? Yeah, do it. Mm. And we have some points to spend. Spend. Apparently, we had new um, oh, armor. Oh, you wanted to do something. You were saving huh? up for something. We have Are new you? armor. Apparently. Well, we don't equip armor, armor in this game, do we? I forget how it works. Whatever. And what, Ben? You were saving up for something. Last yeah, time, but I mean, the next the next level up, I'll have six points, so I, I still won't be able to, like... I think I should just start putting it into stuff now. I think I'm going to go for charge. Yeah, that's what I thought. In the quarters in your ship, you can change your armor. Maybe I'll look at the next mission. Yeah. I can't decide between charge or incendiary ammo. When you max out incendiary, you have the ability to give your entire squad incendiary when you equip it. That's pretty sweet. As good incendiary, incendiary yeah, look, as you? Number two option for the evolution. Of your incendiaries. Or you can get inferno ammo, which is an explosive charge, spreads the ammunition's payload on impact, potentially igniting nearby enemies. That's pretty good. Both of those are good. But charge, you do when it charge. evolves, you get uh, increases the impact and generates a field that briefly slows down the world around you, giving more time to react to the co mm. coming out of the charge. I think that's more charge. my style. Charge! Charge! All right, there we go. So the next level, two more levels, and I'll be able to get that completely. Inferno is my personal favorite. Samara, we are saving up for her, because especially since you can't reset skill points. Whoa, Whoa, it's been a while since we've used Garrus. Wow, buddy. Um, you know, it seems like you're going to be able to completely max out. It does feel like this it. this game. Yeah. Especially helps that your guys level when you don't use them. Yeah, yeah. How many... Uh, uh, max up his overload to increase his ability to be awesome. This is his overload ability kind of, um... So brutally that they explode on death, or have increased your pulse's strength, cover a wide area, makes it easier to hit multiple. Which one's the better version of his uh, heavy overload? Overload heavy. That's Someone one opinion. Heavy. I kind of would rather heavy. I feel. I feel like heavy, area heavy. spread is like such a situational thing that barely ends up coming into play. And uh, heavy. Yeah. I'm gonna Turian rebel. I'm just going to make him a bit better, because Garrus dies constantly. And Samara. All right, we're done. Wow, that was pretty unanimous for Heavy. It Good. was unanimous for Heavy. All right, so when we come back, we're headed into uh, Omega and tracking down Samara's lost daughter slash Sex J Killer Black Widow style.